What if Deku joined Team JPDE? Chapter 12 Appel Attack Sunday Day 35 Team Jaddy were back in the Emerald Forest again, for the third time. How's everyone feeling Jack asked. I'm 100% functional, Jack Penny said. Ready to rock. And to harvest enough bow of pelts in righteous revenge to dress up all of Beacon Evelyn said. Yikes. I'm ready to, partner Deku said. I'm ready to go, leader Deku said. Good. This time I want to do something a bit different. We're going to fight close to each other but not together Jack said. Then the sound to rustling came from the forest. That's the sound of a group of Grim. We're going to split them into smaller groups and engage them on our own. Considering what happened last time, I think it's important to work on our individual reaction times when dealing with multiple enemies, engaged or otherwise. But do not take the risks and stay close to your partner, alright? Even with David's semblance, it's better to not take risks Jack said. And once again I'm gonna be passed around. Wish we had a sixth member for me to partner up with Deku said. But that's part of the fun. We all get to use you Evelyn said. A pack of boelves then came out of the forest into the clearing. Ready, partner Jack asked. Locked and loaded David said. Team Jaddy then began to fight the Grim. Splitting the group of Grim up for them to fight on their own. David was able to kill the Boelf in front of him with relative ease. That. That was so easy, compared to the last time David said. Good job, partner, but don't lose focus. Small Grim like these get their power from numbers Jack said. I won't let you down David said. Oh, he wants to show off for us Evelyn said. You should focus too, Evelyn Penny said. We should all focus. We can see David show off later Deku said. Okay, I do Evelyn said. Team Jaddy then continued to fight off the Boelves. Up on the cliff top, overlooking the Emerald Forest. Looks like they are having fun. Bonding with your team while training, maybe a celebratory snack afterwards. That's a hunter student's life. If it wasn't a complete waste of time, it'd be almost heartwarming. Oh, well Howard said. Howard's hair over his left eye parted and grinned showing his sharp teeth. Time to ask some questions Howard said. Back with Team Jaddy. They keep coming David said. No worries, these are the last ones. Mind if I give you a hand? Mine already broke Evelyn said. Too bad. This is my training. Ask Deku if you can break his David said. Moo, mean David, watch out Evelyn shouted. Her David said. A grim came out of nowhere and dealt a significant blow to David. David Penny shouted. How can this art Jack said. The grim had David by the neck, and then it began to take off into the sky. Oh no, you don't Evelyn shouted. Evelyn jumped onto the grim as it took off into the sky. Evelyn. Are you crazy Deku shouted. David and Evelyn were now high in the sky. David, my voice. Focus on my voice Evelyn called. The Grim then tried to get rid of Evelyn. Oh, you'd like, wouldn't you Evelyn said. Evelyn then stabbed the Grim. David, I'm coming Evelyn said. Then Grim then attacked the two, which sent them falling towards the Emerald Forest. David opened his eyes and found himself on the forest floor. David then quickly got up to see if Evelyn was okay. He wondered why he wasn't feeling any pain like when Ospin launched them into the Emerald Forest. Evelyn David shouted. Please keep your voice down, David Evelyn said. You took all the brunt of the fall. For the both of us David asked. Nah. I just fell hugging you and took the path which gave you the least damage. You were unconscious even before we hit the ground. Ah Evelyn said. You're hurt David said. 
nothing much. I just sprained an ankle. And dislocated my shoulder. Aura doesn't stop for dead, sadly Evelyn said. Nothing much. You're... You're David said. David then began to cry. Are you... Are you crying Evelyn asked. Sorry, it's just... I hate this. I hate that you got hurt because of me. I'm glad that you're mostly okay, but... Damn it, I don't know what I'm supposed to feel, here David said. Hey, it's alright. We're teammates and we help each other Evelyn said, giving David a hug with her UN dislocated arm. I I know. But I'm always the one needing help and causing trouble for other people David said. Who are, hello. Do you remember why you activated your semblance in the first place Evelyn asked. Evelyn gets into a sitting position, wincing as she goes up, right hand grabbing her left shoulder. David looks for Evelyn's tonfers, but they're nowhere to be seen. Also, just like that Boolf, I couldn't sense that grim before it showed up to snatch you. It's not that you were careless, David, there's something else going on here Evelyn said. But, how? What's going on David asked. The price of knowledge, remember Howard asked, stepping out of the forest. Howard David asked. I can satisfy the curiosity but. Are you sure you want to know Howard asked? Back with Jack, Deku and Penny. Penny. Which way were they taken Deku asked. This way. They fell in that direction Penny said. Deku then took off in that direction, using his max output of 12%. Ajuku. Don't run off Jack shouted. No, Jack. Deku is our best bet at saving them Penny said. You're right Jack said. Jack and Penny then ran as fast as they could after Deku. This isn't a coincidence Jack said. Someone got the drop on us while we were isolated twice, in similar circumstances. And that kind of grim at this time of day Penny said. Someone's targeting us. Someone's targeting my team. I don't know why or what. All I know is I have to break someone Jack yelled. Back with David, Evelyn and Howard. David put himself between Howard and Evelyn. Oh, putting ourselves in the line of fire, are we? You have good instincts Howard said. Get away. Don't touch Evelyn David said. No worries, I have no business with her. It's you I've been wanting to talk to. So, let's cut to the chase Howard said. Howard then grinned showing his sharp teeth, and his hair parted showing his four eyes on his left. Hand over the flame, David Howard said. The flame. What the hell are you talking about? And what's wrong with your face David shouted. I always love a first timer's reaction. Never seen a spider faunus before, have you? Anyway, your reaction is genuine. You have no idea what I'm talking about Howard said. All I know is that. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who made those grim attack us David said. Let me be more specific, then Howard asked. Don't ignore me. And stop doing that David shouted. The object you found in the crater. Give it to me Howard said. You're speaking nonsense. What are you looking for? And why do you think I have it David asked. Oh, crap baskets. That leaves only one explanation, then Howard said. Explanation for what David asked. Howard then hit David, knocking him over. David Evelyn yelled. You see, thanks to a guy who knows other guys, I managed to track down a witness of the moment that meteor crashed Howard said. You. You what David said. Howard then hit David again. The nice old lady swears that when the thing landed, there was something shining at the point of impact. Bright as a flame, she said Howard said. Howard went to hit David again, but this time David blocked the attack. Ah, so you can do something other than be a punching bag Howard said. Screw you. 
And what does that mean? I don't remember any light David said. The light belonged to the object I'm looking for. Anyway, the old lady said that all of a sudden, the light disappeared Howard said. Howard then attacked again. David was able to block the attack, but his arms are shaking from the strength of the impact. And a human shape rose in the middle of the steam and smoke, where first there was none. That's all she saw before she was wheeled out of her room. So if you didn't find the flame and no one else recovered it at the crash. There's only one place where it can be Howard said. Evelyn gasped loudly behind him. That's. Then that's why I couldn't. It all makes sense now Evelyn said. Evelyn. What are you? What's he saying is David said. Howard then kicked David in the face. Sorry, David. I don't know how much time I got, so. Let me show something interesting Howard said. David's eyes widen and his mouth goes dry as Howard laughs and laughs. His form then starts to change grotesquely. His mass and volume increase exponentially. Muscles and bone tear, heal and enlarge. His natural colors disappear in a mass of black, white, and red. Howard has transformed into a bat like Grimm, though he is much bigger than a regular bat. You weren't commanding Grimm. You were the Grimm David said. David, you have to run. That's an appell Evelyn said. No David said. He's going to kill you Evelyn said. And if I run you're going to get killed David said. Damn it, David Evelyn said. Teammates help each other, don't they David said. David then tuned back to face Howard in his appell form. David began to fight Howard, as he did Evelyn was able to transfer her aura to his, keeping his aura topped up. As the fight went on, Howard retracted his wings. David, watch out. He's gathering aura Evelyn shouted. He's what? But he's a grim David said. No, he's not. Think about it Evelyn said. The fight wasn't going well for David. Though he had Evelyn replenishing his aura. Howard was just too strong, even though there was a gash on his right leg, that Evelyn gave him when he first attacked. David then put a load of dust in his pockets. David, what's all that dust for Evelyn asked. David's eyes went red as he charged at Howard, but before he could do anything. Manchester Smash Deku shouted. Deku blitzed out of the forest and kicked the appell with a 100% kick, sending Howard back crushing trees in his path. Though this attack drained all of Deku's aura. The wind pressure created sent David flying back towards Evelyn and knocking him unconscious. Deku Evelyn shouted. Have no fear. Everything is fine now. Why? Because I am here Deku said. Deku Evelyn said, starting to cry. The Apelda started to get back up. Careful Deku. That Apel is actually Howard Evelyn. I'm not going to ask why or how. But I am going to beat the shit out of him for hurting my friends Deku said. But you don't have any aura Evelyn said. Who say I need it to fight Deku said. Deku then charged at Howard. Deku was bounding from tree to tree hitting and shooting Howard as he did so. Howard used his sharp teeth and talons to slash and bite at Deku, causing him to bleed and his outfit to rip. Howard then began to stumble as blood started to spill out of his body. You're definitely low on aura now Howard. I suggest you surrender Deku said. Howard shrieked at Deku. Stubborn aren't you Deku said. Howard the charged at Deku, going to bite with his teeth. One for all. 100% Detroit. Smash Deku shouted. Deku punched Howard with his left arm. This sent Howard flying back, creating a big grove in the ground. Deku's left arm was broken and covered in bruises, also his outfit was missing its right sleeve and most of the torso. And stay down Deku said. Deku then turned towards Evelyn and David. Are you two alright Deku asked. 
Are we all right? You're bleeding from everywhere and your arm is all mangled. How? How can you be more concerned with us Evelyn cried. That's just who I am Deku said. Then I Evelyn said. A screech was then heard. Deku and Evelyn looked to see Howard getting up. For fuck's sakes. Stay the fuck down you oversized spider bat Evelyn shouted. Howard then began to flap his wings and began to fly away. Oh, no you don't Deku said. Deku then used Black Whip to tie up Howard's wings and pull him down to the ground. Howard then changed back into his human form. You are one stubborn bastard. And his. His eyes. Doesn't matter. He's out and you're about to collapse. It's over Howard said. I don't like to repeat myself but. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I only have one limb out of order. I can still kick your ass with the remaining three Evelyn said. With no weapons. Want me to transform again and bite off your ears, little bunny Howard asked. Stand down if you know what's good for you Deku said. Yeah. And I'd like to see you try, without aura. I don't know how your semblance works, but you definitely need aura to sustain your transformations, and after the thrashing Deku gave you, you're running on fumes. And you're not getting out of Black Whip Evelyn said. So are you. Are you really willing to test that theory Howard asked? I don't need to test anything, bucko. I can just give a look Evelyn said. What the hell does that even Howard said? Evelyn then used her semblance on Howard. Just as I thought. You can't transform into anything more threatening than a kitten, right now Evelyn said. You. What are you Howard said. And wow, there are at least a dozen ways I alone could kill you even with one arm and no weapons. Fun Evelyn said. Don't look at me like that. You're. Disgusting Howard said. Pot and kettle much. That's always been your problem, hasn't it, Howard? Lashing out. Everyone scared or disgusted by the freak with spider eyes. Not only that, being able to transform into anything you kill. You're made for campfire stories. Now, I'll agree that they were morons but, what did you do? They saw a monster, you gave them a monster and that's when the hunters came bravo, fool. Your life is now ruined Evelyn said. You. How do you Howard said. Was it worth it, Howard? Was a brief moment of retribution worth a life forever on the run Evelyn asked. My head Howard said. Except. You're not on the run anymore, are you? Not since you met Evelyn said. Get the fuck out of my head Howard shouted. All right, fine. There's no need to shout, jeez. The ears aren't for show, you know Evelyn said. You. What kind of semblance is that? Do you read minds Howard asked. Now, now, a girl's got to have her secrets. Anyway. I don't need to stall anymore Evelyn said. What Howard said. Jack then came of the forest and went to punch Howard. How the hell did I miss him? He was tied up. And where did he go Jack asked. He turned into a fly and ran away Evelyn said. He what Jack asked. His semblance. Quite a nasty one, too Deku said. I Deku. You're covered in blood. And your arm Penny shouted. Penny. I'm fine Deku said. The fuck you aren't. Now sit down while we patch you up Jack said. How's David Penny asked. He's alright Penny. He's got no aura as well, but it's not due to Howard. We were lucky he didn't want to kill David. David was about to pull something crazy until Deku arrived Evelyn said. Wished I'd arrived sooner Deku said. You've done enough already Deku. Let us handle the rest. Jack. Evelyn. I need you jacket and blazer Penny said. Okay Jack said. 
Jack and Evelyn then removed the jacket and blazer and gave them to Penny to use as makeshift bandages. You used your semblance on him Jack said. Not enough aura to use it full steam but. We have a problem Evelyn said. I figured that the moment a bloody appell swooped down from the skies. You can fill me in on the way back Jack said. All right. You're all patched up, Deku. And David's vitals are stable. Now, we should set that shoulder back in place, Evelyn Penny said. This is going to suck Evelyn said. Penny then set Evelyn arm back into place. Bouncing ballistic booby balloons, that hurt Evelyn said. Not as much as a mangled arm Deku said. Speaking of injuries. How are you not in so much pain Penny asked. Adrenaline and. Experience Deku said. We'll ask about this later. Right now, we need to get out of here. Evelyn, can you walk Jack asked. I can move on my own Evelyn said. That's something at least. Penny can you carry Ijuku and David Jack asked. Affirmative Penny said. No I can walk too. Me and Evelyn will carry David. While you lead, Jack. And Penny covers our rear Deku said. What no? You are staying down Mr. Evelyn said. He has a point. More Grim could ambush us on our way back Penny said. As much as I hate to admit it. Ijuku's plan is much better for our safety Jack said. Fine Evelyn said. Evelyn and Deku then pulled David, by the arms, over the backs. Jack took the lead while Penny took the rear. The team then carefully made their way out of the Emerald Forest and to the infirmary. Meanwhile. Shit. I can't believe. Never been so humiliated. How? How can I even tell the boss that I? You screwed up, Howard, but at least try not to be a coward Howard said. Howard then called Wezer. Howard Wezer asked. Wezer. No, boss. I failed Howard said. You're out of breath. The guy was that strong Wezer asked. Crazy more like it. So were his teammates. But there's something more. First. The flame is not with him. It's inside him Howard said. That complicates things Wezer said. That's not all, boss. When? While we were fighting, at a certain point. The Guardian. He had the same eyes as the Guardian, boss Howard said. Lay low until we get there, Howard. We're all coming to Vale Wezer said. You're all. You mean even Bella Howard asked. Yes. I'm sure the boss will approve, considering what you just said to me Wezer said. Damn it, Wezer. I thought we wanted to do this low profile, not scorched earth Howard said. Evelyn and David managed to escape with minor wounds and would be all better by tomorrow. Ajuku however wasn't so lucky. The injuries he sustained would take much longer to heal, but there were no lasting injuries. The team then left the infirmary. Deku and David were in wheelchairs, while Evelyn had a crutch. They soon arrived back at their apartment. That was an ordeal Jack said. It was more than that Evelyn said. Thank God we're all alive at least Deku said. If Howard wanted to kill David. Then he would have been gone Evelyn said. I think we should not talk about this right now Penny said. Agreed. I need to sleep for a week Evelyn said. I don't think that'll be possible. Maybe a day though Jack said. Good enough for me. Now let's get you undressed, Ijuku Evelyn said. What Deku said. You can't sleep in that. It's all torn and covered in blood Penny said. I know that. But you don't need to undress me. I can do it myself Deku said. Nope. Let us help you Evelyn said. What? No. Evelyn you don't need to. Not you too Penny Deku said. The girls then stripped Deku out of what remains of his hunter outfit. 
Thankfully we was able to stop them from taking off his underwear. Deku was then put into Penny's bed. The three then moved on to David, though he was completely stripped down, before being up into his bed. Um. Penny where are you going to sleep Deku asked. Um Penny said. We can share my bed Penny Evelyn said. Okay Penny said. The girls then started getting ready for bed in the main room. Um. I'm still awake Deku said. Does it matter though? We've just stripped you and David. And it's not like we're going to remove our underwear Evelyn said. But still Deku said. Then just look away Jack said. Deku then closed his eyes whilst the girls changed and then went to bed. In the middle of the night Evelyn woke up. She got out of her bed, she then hobbled over to Deku and David. She climbed in between them. Thanks for saving me, you two Evelyn said. She then kissed David and Deku on the cheek. But don't ever do that again, I do. I don't want to lose you Evelyn said. Evelyn then snuggled up to Aizuku and fell asleep. Monday. Day 36. Deku woke up in the middle of the day. He felt something on his right arm. He looked to see Evelyn, her arms were around his right arm, and he was pressing her boobs into him. Evelyn was only wearing her shirt, so he could see her pink and white stripped panties. Um. Evelyn. Wake up Deku said, as she shook Evelyn with his right arm. Ha. Huh. Oh. Good morning Aizuku Evelyn said. More like afternoon. But why are you in bed with me and why are you only in your shirt Deku asked. I had a nightmare last night about losing you too Harold. And so I climbed into bed with you Evelyn said. Did you get a good night's sleep Deku asked. After climbing in and snuggling with you. Yes Evelyn said. Glad to hear it. Now why are you Deku said, sitting up taking his arm out of Evelyn boobs. Deku then noticed that Evelyn's shirt was undone at the top, creating a deep V, enough so that Deku could see her cleavage and that she wasn't wearing a bra. What were you going to ask Evelyn asked, sitting up. Oh, um. Nothing Deku said, as he averted his eyes from Evelyn's chest. Hey, I do. There's something I need to tell you Evelyn said. What is it Deku asked. Evelyn then moved closer to Aizuku, almost sitting in his lap. I I Evelyn said. Evelyn then moved in to kiss Aizuku, but. Evelyn. You're alright David said, waking up. Evelyn and Deku then looked at David. Typical. Last thing you remember is an attempt at a blaze of glory and the first thought on your mind is me Evelyn said. Wait. What do you mean attempt David asked. I kind of stole your glory. Good thing I did though. Didn't want you being blow up Deku said. What? And have you go through the shredder instead? Look at you. You are covered in bandages. I'll stick with my decision David said. We can talk about blazes of glory later. You two want a glass of water Evelyn asked. Yes please Deku said. David nodded. Evelyn then got up and got Deku and David a glass of water. How are you feeling, David Evelyn said. Good enough, considering everything. My aura was completely gone, wasn't it David asked. Yeah. I'm sorry for that. I should have been more careful Deku said. Hey. We're alive so that counts for something. So, thank you Deku David said. I do, here. We can him into a kitten, before we took care of the rest Evelyn said. I see David said. David relaxed in his bed, placing his head against the headboard. He brings his right hand to scratch at his chest, when he realizes. Evelyn. Deku David said. Yes Evelyn said. Who undressed me David asked. It was a group effort Evelyn said. Different question. Why am I naked David asked. Because your clothes did take a beating. 
you should see Aizuku's. His are in shreds Evelyn said. Don't worry David. They undressed me too. But I made them keep my underwear on Deku said. That makes things a little better. But only a little bit David said. You also lost a little bit of hair Evelyn said. David then brought his hand to his hair, to feel that it was shorter than before. But now I don't have any clothes. Gee, I wish there was a spare set I could use David asked. You're really bad at this Evelyn said. I shouldn't be doing this in the first place David said. I'll get them. I guess it's as good as time as any to show you them to you Evelyn said. Thanks David said. Now. I wonder where I'll get a new set of hunter clothes Deku asked. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make you some new ones Evelyn said. Thanks. By the way, where are Penny and Jack Deku asked. They left me a message. They are with the headmaster Evelyn said. I see Deku said. Up in Ospin's office. Jack and Penny had just finished telling Ospin and General Ironwood about Howard's attack. Being able to transform into Grimm. And still being able to use Aura Ironwood said. A fearsome ability. It's a testament to your training that David managed to survive alone against it, until Aizuku arrived Ospin said. Barely. The fact that this Howard wanted to capture him alive was a big factor, I believe Jack said. Headmaster. Do you have any idea what they could possibly want from him? What is this flame they are looking for Penny asked. As with most things concerning Mr. D.I.K. Begis, this is sadly also a mystery to me. But it is most certainly tied to the voice in his head you mentioned. And his peculiar existence itself Ospin said. So? It's true Penny asked. It would explain why Miss Damerot's semblance didn't work properly on him. Mr. D.I.K. Begis simply had nothing to observe Ospin said. So, his life started the day that meteor fell Jack asked. At this point, I doubt we can call it a meteor. If there are people with knowledge of what he carries, I think it's safe to assume that the object is native to Remnant Ironwood said. Speaking of which, you say that Miss Damerot read in your attacker's mind. That he has allies Ospin asked. Three of them Penny said. Any other details about these allies she managed to retrieve Ironwood asked. Only that one of them seems to have some kind of relationship to Fire Jack said. Fire Ironwood said. Jack scroll then went off. It's from Evelyn. David woke up Jack said. We should go to him, then. Post haste. To. To see if he can add anything new to our investigation Penny said. That'd be advisable, yes Ospin said. You're dismissed Ironwood said. Headmaster Jack said. General Penny said. Jack and Penny then left Ospin's office. Three people, Ospin Ironwood said. Their target is completely different, though. Whatever this flame is, it doesn't have a relation to the maidens that I know of Ospin said. Whatever. Whatever it is Ironwood asked. If I knew everything, I wouldn't make mistakes, my friend. Much about Remnant's past has been lost to the tides of time, and conflict. I fear this is a threat we know nothing about Ospin said. So. We do nothing. Once again, your suggested course of action is waiting for their next move. Ospin. I hope this isn't another of those mistakes you mentioned Ironwood said. Back in Team Jaddy's apartment. David had put on his new clothes Evelyn had made him, and he had a new hairdo. Deku was still sitting in Penny's bed, still only in his underwear. Evelyn was still only in her shirt, but she had at least done up some of the buttons. How do they feel Evelyn asked. They feel great. But I worry that the jacket will stain easily, being white David said. They are hunter grade materials, so it won't stain Evelyn said. They won't David asked. Ever seen someone with dirty clothes after sparring or training? Except for you, of course Evelyn said. True. 
didn't think that Hunter put so much attention into what they look like David said. You have no idea Evelyn said. I like the new look. Much better than you greaser look Deku said. Thanks. Feels much better to move in David said. Jack and Penny then entered the room. Good to see you back on your feet, partner Jack said. David Penny said. Penny then hugged David. I'm so glad to see you're feeling wholesome Penny said. Penny. Don't worry, I'm okay. I wasn't gravely injured. Unlike Mr. Mummy Man here David said. Well. Next time I wouldn't save you then Deku said. No, you won't. You're too kind for that David said. Yeah. Yeah, alright Deku said. I knew that. It wasn't your injuries I was worried about Penny said. What were you worried about, then David asked. Your state of mind. Considering the new information Harold shared with us during his attack Penny said. Oh, right. That. Evelyn. During the battle, you. What exactly it is that you realized David asked. Remember when we first met my semblance didn't seem to work properly on you Evelyn asked. I remember. Evelyn, what exactly does your semblance do David asked. Evelyn can see the past or future of people and things Jack said. There are limits, of course. But when we first met, I tried observing your past and I couldn't go further back than the moment you woke up in that crater. At first I thought it was because your semblance shielded you, somehow. But taking into account what Harold said Evelyn said. I didn't have any other past to observe. I was born in that crater. Six weeks ago David said. The room went silent. Oh, well. That's one mystery down, at least David said. The girls then fell down in complete surprise at David's response. Oh. What's wrong David asked. Nothing, apparently Deku said. Don't change the mood so suddenly. Bloody hell Jack said. David, you're... You're not bothered by this at all Penny asked. Should I be David asked. Maybe a little Evelyn said. Is this another thing like with the clothes David asked. No, it's a, you're taking this in stride Jack said. It does bother me a little, yes. I mean, I get it, I'm not human, but it doesn't really change anything, does it? Parents, a family, a life before Beacon. I've lived without those things, and I've been doing pretty good for myself, have I not? Now we know they don't exist at all but... I'm still me. I've taken all my days here one at a time, and focused on what on what I do instead of where I came from. I'll just keep doing that. So. Am I still your friends even if I'm weird David asked. Absolutely. We promised, after all Penny said. As the headmaster said, teams are forever Evelyn said. And partners, too. I'll be damned if I let you go over something like this Jack said. Whatever you are. Human, non-human. That won't change our friendship Deku said. So. Want to tell me what exactly you dug up from Harold's mind David asked. His name is Howard. And I think we should get lunch first Penny said. Well, I am hungry, but I think I can resist David said. David's stomach then rumbled. Then again David said. The team laughed. Outside their room Ruby was standing there. I feel like I heard something I wasn't supposed to Ruby said. Over in the Beacon School. I'm happy to hear everything's going well. You sure you don't need more time Glinda asked. Of course I'd like to have you back at the school, but Glinda said. I will see you on Monday, then Glinda said. Team Jaddy had finished having lunch and had told David everything they found out from Howard. So there are three more we have to be wary of. Great David said. I just hope they are not as dangerous as Howard Jack said. With our luck, one of them would be able to turn into a god or something Evelyn said. 
Let's hope it doesn't come to that Deku said. Considering they are working together. There's a high chance that they are all at least on the same level as Howard Penny said. Seems like I'll need to work hard to defend myself from them, so I don't have to rely on you guys David said. And we'll all help you get there Deku said. Hey, Ajuku. There's something we've been wanting to ask Jack said. What is it Deku asked? Why is Ospin interested in you Jack asked? How Deku said. When I went to tell Ospin about the voice in David's head. He asked about you and said that your semblance isn't a semblance Evelyn said. Deku froze, as he quickly tried to think of an answer. It is true that my semblance isn't a semblance. While it does seem to be one, it acts in different ways Deku said. Like getting a new power on two of your current one penny asked. What Deku asked? That back tendril, you tied up Howard with. That doesn't seem to fit with your power up semblance Evelyn said. Oh that. Well, I have recently discovered a new application to my power that allows me to create a physical form of the energy inside me. And that what Black Whip is Deku said. How does that work David asked. I don't know. Why do you have a male human form Deku asked. Fair point David said. Hey. Female David Evelyn said. Carrots, you can let your mind wander later Jack said. As I was saying. I don't know how it fully works. That's why I haven't told you guys about it. Or even Ospin Deku said. Wait Ospin doesn't know David asked. Yes. While he knows something about my power. He doesn't know it all. And while I'd like to tell you more I just can't Deku said. But why Evelyn asked. Why I trust you all. It's better to keep this a secret from as many people as possible. Imagine the chaos that would come if my power's nature got out. It would be like telling the world magic is real. People and kingdoms would do anything to have me. So, the less people who know the better. The only person who knows is Katsuki Bakugo Deku said. Your friend from back home Penny asked. Yes. And he figured to out on his own from me being careless about what I said about it Deku said. Okay. We'll respect your wishes, and keep this a secret, but we will have to tell Ospin about Black Whip. It would be suspicious if you start using it in class and we haven't told him about it Jack said. That's fine. Just tell Ospin what I told you. I'm willing to sacrifice that for David's safety Deku said. You always have to make it about saving other, don't you Evelyn said. It's just who I am Deku said. Wait does that mean that you can still unlock a semblance David asked. I don't think so. This power may explain why I was so weak in the past Deku said. That kinda makes sense Evelyn said. Deku sighed in relief. Her had managed to keep one for all as a whole a secret. But how long could he keep lying to his new friends and how long before new powers start to show and derail everything, he's told them. He did not like it one bit. But it's what needs to be done. End of chapter 12